I was so grateful to to make my first cup start, let alone in the Daytona 500. And um, get a top 10 out of it was very cool as well. And I just thought the whole day um, was kind of a blur from the driver introductions to the checkered flag. But um, I, I learned so much and gained so much experience that um, hopefully I can take with me the rest of my career. The first thing I want to ask you, Riley, is you're competing in the Shriners Children's 200 NASCAR Xfinity Series race this weekend at Darlington. And this is a special weekend because it's throwback weekend and you're paying tribute to the late Ken Block, uh, just a big name in the racing world. So what can you tell us about the tribute, which is, I think you emulating um, um, one of Block's drip cars, right? Yeah, it's uh, his drip car from Jim Connor 3. So right. really excited to get down there and, and race and put this Jim Connor drip scheme on the high banks at Darlington and um, just super honored to be able to run this scheme and very grateful. When you look at Ken Block's career, and obviously, again, he made such an impact, um, winning so many medals in the X Games and, you know, the Jim Khanna uh, making that popular on YouTube. Do you have a favorite moment from him in terms uh, in terms of his uh, racing career? In his racing career? I don't think so. Yeah. Um, but in terms of what he, he did as an icon, um, I would say just being able to rent out the city of San Francisco and and make drifting videos through it uh, through Jim Connor five is, is something very remarkable. And just the way he pushed the younger demographic uh, like myself when he was coming up uh, to motorsports and just ha- make us fans of racing um, and what he did, did. And he made racing cool um, to the younger population, which was really neat to see. And um, just being able to see what he did um, through all of his videos and just how much of an icon he truly was. Yeah, I got a chance to see the car that you're going to be driving um, this weekend. It looks really great. So what was your reaction when you first saw it? Uh, I was extremely excited um, on how it came out and how almost perfect it is perfect to his true uh, Ford Fiesta car back in 2010 and 11 um, with the same schematics and the same colors in the right areas and the same color combination. So it came out really good and I'm excited to go race it. Yeah, and Throwback Weekend is always a fun time because it gives drivers an opportunity to pay tribute to those who paved the way um, in NASCAR. So do you think this is one of your favorite weekends of the season? Um, I don't I don't know. I, I don't think yeah. it's any different than any other weekend. I get to drive a yeah. race car, so they're all my favorite weekends. But um, I would say that this one is definitely – this year is more special to me um, when yeah. I get to honor and pay tribute to Ken Block and – um, just so grateful to Monster and the Block family for allowing me to do this. And um, it just means the world to me. And I'm really excited to go race with it. And regarding your season, excuse me, regarding your season in Xfinity Series, you're currently in eighth place in the point standings. How would you evaluate your season right now? I thought through the first six weeks, we've um, executed everything flawlessly. And we were leading the points at one point throughout the year. And now we fell to eighth, um, had a rough last month. So, Hopefully we can get back on track this weekend at Darlington and um, go back in the right direction. Absolutely. And you finished in the top 10 last season in the Xfinity Series. What are some of the things you need to do and you and your team needs to do in order to uh, take that next step and uh, win the Xfinity Series championship? Uh, Just continue what we've been doing. Do what we did the first six weeks, execute when we're supposed to execute and uh, do all the little things right, which that's our uh, goal this weekend, and we'll be just fine. Absolutely. And for this year, you made your Cup Series debut at the Daytona 500 and had a very strong showing, finishing in 10th place. So um, what was your what were some of the biggest keys um, to you having a successful run in Daytona? Yeah, uh, it was a, definitely a wild event, and um, it seems so long ago now, but I was so grateful to to make my first cup start, let alone in the Daytona 500 and um, get a top 10 out of it was very cool as well. And I just thought the whole day um, was kind of a blur from the driver introductions to the checkered flag. But um, I, I learned so much and gained so much experience that um, hopefully I can take with me the rest of my career. Absolutely. And you also competed in uh, the cup series race in Talladega, also a very popular track. Uh, how is it driving on that track? Because like Daytona, and it's a little bit of different, but like Daytona, it's a super speedway. Yeah, it uh, it's very similar, but very different as well. So yeah. uh, it's a little bit longer, quite a bit wider, but it was a great experience. Um, I got all the laps completed and finished with a, a 20th place result. So 
um, I was excited with that and um, thankful for the opportunity and ready to hopefully earn another shot. Yeah, I definitely see that happening for you. But last question for me before I let you go is there's still a lot of season left in the Xfinity series, um, meaning you have a chance to um, do some big things at the end of the year. If you have a strong finish, do you see yourself competing in the Cup Series full time, possibly next year or maybe even the year after that? Well, ultimately, I feel like that's my goal. Um, yeah. And everybody's goal in the Xfinity Series is to make it to the Cup Series and um, be competitive up there. But um, first things first is the Xfinity Series, and I have to master that. And the task at hand is to go out there at Darlington this weekend and uh, try to go get a trophy. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to uh, seeing you in that Ken Block tribute car at Darlington and what you do in the rest of the season. So, Riley, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Again, good luck to you and continued success to you.